Someone said to me, if you want us to vote for you in 2024, you must abandon uh, this thing of uh, foreigners. Uh, now I'm prepared to go. Home. Now I'm fine. I'm ne I will never take a platform and denounce Africans. I will never do it. If it means votes are going, let them go. Now I'm prepared to go home. But to take a platform and please white minority by pointing a finger at my other fellow black brothers, I'm not going to do that. When I see a Nigerian or a Zimbabwean or a Congolese or Ghanaian, I see myself. EFF can commission a internal research to see to what extent is this thing hurting the EFF. But I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared to take a platform and say foreigners must go home. I would rather not be a president of South Africa. I will be a president of my children at home. We will practice cabinet there. Ah, no, I don't want. I must go and, and, and tell these hungry Zimbabweans to leave here. And when I, leave, and I tell them to leave, I send them to where? To die. To die. I would rather die with them than to allow them to die alone. Oh, yes, this is Golden Boy and I'm really, really grateful that uh, you have clicked on this video. Now I want to talk about uh, why the, there is so much uh, Westerners distaste amongst young leaders in Africa. And one of the people you all know that is Malema, Gilles Malema. So you all know that uh, Malema has been advocating for the nationalism of mines and banks and exp exploration of land without compensation, which many in the West view as an extreme and potential destabilization. Now, uh, guys, in this video, we want to talk about this because uh, you, you all know that uh, recently there have been an uh, election in, in South Africa. And uh, my, my friend, there's nothing going good. There's nobody. I think uh, EFS, I don't know if it is losing, but I don't know. I don't know. The results are not out, but uh, the way I'm seeing things, I don't know. Now let us listen to what uh, this guy has always talked about in these videos. And among of the things is that uh, is about these uh, mines, banks, and nationalism in South Africa. And not only in South Africa, also in Africa. Have a listen. Russia must be given a practical support. Because when we needed one, they didn't give us a non-alignment position. They didn't give us this neutral nonsense position. They gave us arms. That ambassador of the USA was supposed to be taken out of our country the following day. He insulted us. He violated uh, diplomatic protocols. That's why he was sanctioned. We want to make sure that BRICS is strengthened and BRICS is an alternative to Europe and America. We are with President Putin and we want to say to President Putin, it is not us South Africans who refused you from coming into the country. It is Ramaphosa, the coward Ramaphosa, who could not guarantee that we will not arrest Putin. We are Putin and Putin is us and we will never support imperialism against President Putin. We are waiting for these people to come out. Because we are not going to read this memorandum without this imperialist and murderers come outside. And if they don't come outside, we are not going to live here until they come outside. So they must stop wasting our time. We are not here to play games here. If they think they were part of the nonsense they've been doing in West Africa, it stops here. We are not West Africa. And we are not going to allow that nonsense. We come here peacefully. And we want the France embassy to act peacefully and not provoke us so they must come outside and receive the memorandum 
Otherwise, we are not going to start. Otherwise, we are not going to live here. And by not living here, they will not live here. We are going to divide ourselves. Others will go and occupy the main road there. And others will occupy the gate of France Embassy. So stop wasting time. The French white supremacists are not going to dictate to us on how we must protest here in South Africa. No one is going to fight you. No one is going to beat you. You have killed a lot of people in Africa. Why are you scared today to come out and face Africans? Economic Freedom Fighters condemns all manifestations of colonialism and neocolonialism in the entire African continent. We, as a generation of freedom fighters, reject and condemn the fact that decades after the declaration of so-called independence of former colonized territories, colonizers continue to maintain a colonial and neo-colonial relationship with I will never get tired. No one can make me tired. I march forward to the victory of our people. The revolution in South Africa is guaranteed that under the EFF, this country will be the better. Stand up, South Africa. Make sure that South Africa, you are counted with me. Run, South Africa. Stand and make sure that our people understand that they need to be counted. You must be counted. You must be part of history. You must make sure that you are one of the people who are going to deliver economic freedom in our lifetime. Freedom in our lifetime. Amanda! I'm not, uh, I'm not a prophet, but uh, as, as I'm seeing things, things are not good in our side. Now, uh, I want us to talk about this. Uh, there are some of the loopholes that came out and why this uh, boy lost, uh, is losing in election. And uh, I also heard a lot about him that uh, he was not supposed to stand for, uh, for president. Uh, they, they had two choices, it was Malema and Nzali. Nzazi, I don't know, something like that. So it's also among the people who have always stand in, uh, in parliament. Uh, they are good in, oration, in oration. So is is that that Malema didn't convince people, and uh, it it seemed like uh, people were, were were really really threatened with how Malema speaks. They thought that uh, he was not going to uh, to help South Africa, rather than uh, he's going to be some of the puppets in the West people. Now I don't know if this is true, but uh, again um, about the land. You all know that he has always advocated for the lands in South Africa that uh, the lands which belong to South Africa, black South African, should be returned to the black South African. And that's why you'll find that the DA party is really, really leading because a majority of the people who don't stand for that are really, really voting for this guy. Now, uh, this is not the main context. We are, we are just going flashback on what this guy has always advocated for in this, in this world. And uh, yes, you all know that uh, Malema is really, really popularist uh, against the things called borders. Uh, you want open borders in Africa. Some of the comments, uh, I don't know if there are somehow negative, but I'll, I'm just going to read them. That uh, Malema is a populist face of corruption, close ally of taboo tax evaders, government contracts, and maybe those that dislike him see what he does the people he pretend to, to represent but Zulu makes big mistakes you cannot kill your own people of Africa how how is that I don't know now <laughs> people are just saying negatively about Malema and by the way the whole Africa was looking at this if Malema is going to lead but hey my friend I'm I'm just I don't know now, Malema insults South Africa on a daily basis. How? Oh. It is not only his most uh, lovely hobby, but is also the ardently kept to be illegal in South Africa. 
They are illegals in South Africa. Oh, the Zimbabweans. They always talk about the Zimbabweans and the people who invade South Africa. Yeah, and by the way, they have always been uh, xenophobic in South Africa between the Nigerians and South, uh, South Africans, where they have always believed that uh, Nigerians are taking away their businesses from South Africans. And you will know that uh, Nigerians are also people who have always, uh, are always hard working. And when they touch this thing, they will make sure it works. So it is because of that that you will find that a lot of them are really, really uh, flourishing in business. Their business are really, really good, doing good in, uh, in South Africa. And then the South Africans have come out and said, no, you can't have that good businesses now, can't. And it is not only about that. Uh, there are several, several reasons why these Nigerians are not needed. Because also they said that uh, Nigerians are incorporating illegal drugs in South Africa. And that's why you'll find that there's a lot of crime rates among youths. Because a lot of them are doing drug trafficking. I don't know if that's true, but I've just been doing this research. And you'll find that one, one among the peddlers in South Africa are the Nigerians. And some of the South Africans. Yeah, and that's why you'll find that these are always been xenophobic in South Africa. So if any of you have a brain, then you won't vote for Malema. You will all starve if he becomes president and you'll struggle. How? You'll struggle? How? So uh, I didn't know much about this, and I'm just coming to realize that uh, a lot of people really, really hated. Uh, uh, I don't know if it is it, but... Uh, in the ground, things are not good, my friend. Things are not good. I don't know if it is. We are still waiting because they are still counting, counting. And I was just coming out to show you what it is really, really happening. Otherwise, guys, let's keep waiting for the results. And I will see you in the next video.